your fight for partnership at Green North? It's not God's battle, babe, it's yours, you know? I know it's my battle. I just think that Reverend Pryor was trying to say, have a little faith in yourself. <laughs> I mean, that's the whole problem with religion. I didn't know there was a whole problem with religion. All I'm saying is I think it's wrong to try to convince somebody that his destiny isn't in his own hands. So you think we control everything in our lives? Well, most things. Oh, so I wanted to bust my butt for five years and not be rewarded for it. No, but you controlled what you could, working hard. That's why Rick Grant offered you a great job, which was obviously meant to be. Well, I gotta go, Damon. Make sure you clean up that mess in my kitchen. Mm, one mess. Uh -huh. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Morning. I was just about to come see you. Oh, to sign your employment contract, I hope. It's been a month and you haven't responded. Brian, you know, I really appreciate the firm's offer. Three-year deal, 50% salary increase. That's nothing to ignore. But? But I do have some concerns, and... I want a meeting with Green and Norris to discuss them. Green and Norris. Well, if you were anybody else. But I'm not. So do you think you can hook this up for me? Well, I'll try to get you on their calendar by midweek. Good. Thank you. Um, do you want to run by me what you're planning to say? No. But thanks. OK. Let me know if you change your mind. Here, ladies. Here we go. Uh, we also have some matching top for this one. Good. Here we go. Yes. And here we go. So we'll look great on you. Anyway, my name is Yvette. Call me if you need help with sizes. Thank you. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. You know, why is it that a foreign accent always makes the place a little bit more obscure? <laughs> Why is it when you ask a silly question that you know has no answer, you look at me? I don't know. Whatever. Well, you brought us here. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, this is woman sitting in my chair today for three hours, okay? And all she could talk about were her kids. You know, why do women do that when they become mothers? Hmm. It's like they lose all sense of identity. I'm scared that's gonna happen to me. Bird, don't say all women. I didn't do that, you didn't do that. Well, Maxine, a case could be made that you did do that. No, I didn't. Did I do that, Bird? Ooh, girl, this must belong to you, because I am not trying to look like somebody's mama. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are somebody's mama. And ain't nothing wrong with that. By the way, uh, your ex-brother-in-law called. Uh, which one? <laughs> Very funny, Bird. Miles called. He might be coming into town. He asked about everybody. We ended up talking for like an hour. About what? Mostly the partnership thing. He really understood why I was so upset. You know, it was actually his idea for me to go to talk to Reverend Pryor and get a spiritual take on everything. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Miles actually had an idea and you listened to him? It's crazy, right? But it was actually the most normal conversation we've had in a long time. What do you think? <gasps> oh, no. oh, cute. I think if you wear that to Ahmad's baptism, every man in church will be praying to God for forgiveness for what he's thinking. Okay, amen. Okay. <laughs> Now, the next step in your walk with Jesus is the actual baptism. You'll be baptized as brothers and sisters under the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yes, am I? If God, Jesus, and Holy Ghost are separate, how can they be one? See, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are three different parts of the same whole. I mean, it's just like you, a brother, son, and a friend, but you're still one Ahmad. Like this state's a matter of solid, liquid, and gas, but it's all the same matter. Yes, sir. Now, <clears throat> after your baptism, your sins will be washed away. Now, this is gonna be a new start, a fresh chance for you to be like Jesus. Yes, Brother Chadwick. Did we all come from Adam and Eve? Well, I mean, that's what the Bible tells us. But Adam and Eve's children married each other, and then their children had children over and over again. Does that mean incest was okay back in Bible times? <laughs> Here. You call your mom and have her come 
get you. You let her know we don't baptize kids who don't know how to respect the church. Well, hey, today when I went to pick up Jeremiah at Max's, we got stopped by the train tracks. Jeremiah looked at the train and said, shoo, shoo. Ooh, mm, you did. <laughs> sure did. I'd like to have you saw it and... All the receipts for the money hey, you yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm working on the chew sound with him. <laughs> Mama, we boring. Mm. Baby, what you talking about? Hell no, we ain't boring. We got... Leftover child main. We watching old movies on TV. I mean, we having mad fun. Yeah, but real fun or boring fun, like an old married couple. Baby, what we got is perfect, and we definitely weren't boring last night. See, <laughs> there you go. You always gotta take it to sex. <laughs> <laughs> you right. You right. I don't do that no more. How about I uh, take it back to tickling you in? <laughs> Which one? Your son. Hmm. All right, now go talk to him. Son, sorry. Now, well, well, what did you do? I asked Reverend Pryor how we all could be descendants of Adam and Eve unless incest was okay back then. Okay, well, no, you, no, you didn't, man. No, you didn't. There was Adam and Eve, and then there was their children. How can they populate the whole world unless they were doing it with each other? You know, that's a good question. I had a whole list of them. You know, I'm on. I'm on. Religion is a funny thing with most people. I mean, you take the uh, Palestinians and the Israelis, for instance. They have been fighting over the same strip of land for years and years. And they both believe that they're doing God's will. When you have a question about somebody else's religion, you, you've got to be very careful on the way you present it. But it isn't somebody else's religion. It's ours. So how come I can't ask questions about it? You can't. It, it's just a matter of how. I'm gonna go talk to Reverend Pryor. See if I can get you back in that class, all right? That's okay. You don't have to. Ma, did you get kicked out on purpose? Ooh, no. But I'm cool if I can't get baptized. Yeah, well, your mama won't be cool. So let me see what I can do to get you back in, all right? All right. If it'll help you feel more confident, you can still try out your speech on me. I'm fine, Brian. I just need to focus. I heard Rick Grant just withdrew Lamont's tax work from Burnell, Wicker, and Roth. You think we might get some of that business? Well, I had dinner with him the other night, and he mentioned sending some more work our way. But he didn't elaborate, and he's not the sort of client you push. Not push? I thought that was like breathing for you. I don't have to push. I do it to make sure I'm treated fairly. Well, I haven't treated you fairly. I didn't say that. Hello, Terry. Mr. Green. Mr. Norris. Terry. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules. Not at all. You're important to us, as is anything you have to say. Well, then. I should just say it. As impressive as your offer is, I'm calling this meeting to make a counterproposal. Okay. Let's hear it. In light of recent...